Let's discuss how to deal with shoulder pain when squatting. So people who are a little bit more able-bodied might be saying, Wait, when squatting, how are you getting shoulder pain when you're squatting? So usually this happens in a barbell back squat. The bar is on the back of the back, as on your shoulders, right? And you grab the bar and you step under it and your arms are kind of like tilted back this way. Now, if you don't have this motion, you can torque your shoulders to get there. Like for me, for example, my left shoulder is really flexible. So even if I don't have the shoulder blade position that I would normally need to have that mobility, I can still find it because my shoulder's a little bit loose, okay? That's not necessarily a good thing, but for me, if I stay cranked back here, I start to get some pain right back here. It's a really common place to get pain. Couple things that I wanna help you in dealing with this. First, why are you doing a back squat? Maybe you don't need to. If you're just looking for leg development, like you can, you can get huge legs and never do even a bilateral squat at all. Or you can just stick with front squats, right? Those things will load you, they'll give you the aesthetic development that you're looking for. The only time, just to kind of fast forward through all these, the only time that you're actually going to need to back squat is <laughs> if you're powerlifting. <laughs> so maybe don't do it. If you're lucky, you have a safety squat bar in your gym and you got these padded, this padded bar that sits on your shoulders and you got little handles right here so you don't have to crank your shoulders back like that. That's kind of what it was made for. Big powerlifters getting some... Uh, accessory work, maybe some uh, off-season training away from meets with a uh, an implement that's not messing their shoulders up so that they can still bench, right? So that's the idea, save the shoulders. Safety squat bar, front squat, maybe just single leg stuff, right? Holding weights, maybe a weight vest, something like that. Um, okay, shoulder pain. If I don't want to just get rid of or avoid the back squat, or if you, you know, maybe you just want to do it, like it's kind of cool to do it, you probably need to find someone who's going to help you, one, manage your pain. So I would go try to find a physical therapist in your area. I can help you find someone maybe, or I can ask around if I know anyone, uh, depending on where you're at. Just leave a comment below if you need uh, help with that. But you're gonna have to take care of some of your mobility problems. And oftentimes what we see is when people can't bring their hands back like this, it's because their upper back is actually too extended, it's too flat. Their shoulder blades, therefore, don't have anywhere to sit. They have scapular winging, you might say, they coming off of the rib cage. The rib cage is really flat in the back and the, uh, the shoulder blades are a little bit curved and they don't have anywhere to sit. So the best thing to do in this case, if you try this, if you stick your chest way up and you try to bring your hands back, you're gonna notice that they're limited. But if you exhale all your air out, let your sternum drop a little bit. Sorry, I hit that mic. Uh, let your sternum drop a little bit and let that upper back round out a little bit more, then you'll notice you can stretch your pec muscles a lot more and get your hands back further. This is much more comfortable for me anecdotally than sticking my chest up here and getting that pinch back here. So first piece of advice, try to find something else to use, even if it's just in the meantime. Second piece of advice, find a physical therapist. Third piece of advice, Find an exercise that will increase your mobility here in your thoracic spine. Restore some of that uh, thoracic spine flexion. Make sure you train yourself on how to blow all the air out of your upper chest. And then you can even try an exercise like a push-up where at the top, you're not just, you're not just doing like a bench press push-up, you're finishing with your arms really long. We might call that a full reach at the top. Okay, so that's one good variation. You could just do it statically. You could just hold it in a plank position. I like to do high planks here in like a push-up position so that I can really sit there and cue and get comfortable and just hang out there for a minute or two. Um, and you can even go one side at a time. You could do something like a, a push-up to a 
one arm lift or a one arm support. So if the ground is down here, I pick one hand up off the ground and then the other hand supports me and it gets extra load. And so that extra load teaches you how to keep that back rounded as long as you're doing it correctly. Film yourself. If you can, find a physical therapist, find someone to help you with your mobility problems. Um, I do take online clients if maybe you need some help with that, but you're gonna have to be very self-motivated because I can't be there to drag you into the gym. <laughs> um, that's all I got. Enjoy, good luck. If you need help, again, leave a comment below.